In this video, we'll be showing you how to use a treadmill safely and effectively for your workouts. Before we get started, it's important to do a quick warm-up to get your muscles and joints ready for exercise. This can be as simple as a few minutes of light walking or jogging in place. Now, let's get on the treadmill. Start by adjusting the height of the treadmill to a level that is comfortable for you. You should be able to easily reach the handrails without having to stand on your toes. Next, set the speed and incline to your desired level. If you're just starting out, it's a good idea to start with a lower speed and gradually increase it as you get more comfortable. The incline feature allows you to simulate running or walking uphill, which can add an extra challenge to your workout. Once you're ready to start, hold onto the handrails and begin walking or running at a comfortable pace. Remember to keep your posture upright and your feet landing softly on the belt. If you need to adjust the speed or incline during your workout, use the buttons or controls on the console. It's important to stay hydrated during your treadmill workouts, so make sure to bring a water bottle with you. And when you're finished, don't forget to cool down with a few minutes of light walking or stretching. The best settings on a treadmill for training for a 5K depend on your current fitness level and training goals. Here are some general guidelines to consider. Speed. Depending on your current fitness level, aim to run at a pace that feels comfortable yet challenging. You may want to start with a pace of around 5 to 6 miles per hour and gradually increase as you get stronger. Incline. If you are training for a 5K on a flat course, you may want to set the incline at 0%. If you are training for a hilly course, you can increase the incline to mimic the terrain. The best incline setting on a treadmill to simulate a hilly course will depend on the specific terrain of the course you are trying to replicate in your own fitness level. In general, a treadmill incline of 5-10% is a good starting point for replicating a hilly course. You can adjust the incline up or down as needed to match the difficulty of the terrain you are trying to simulate. If you are trying to replicate a particularly steep hill, you may need to set the incline of the treadmill higher than 10%. Interval Training Interval training can be a great way to improve your speed and endurance. You can set the treadmill to alternate between faster and slower speeds or between higher and lower inclines. Cool down. After your workout, be sure to include a cool down period where you walk or jog at a slower pace to allow your body to recover. Ultimately, the best settings on a treadmill will depend on your individual needs and goals. It is important to listen to your body and make adjustments as needed. The best settings for fat burning on a treadmill depend on your current fitness level and goals. Here are a few general guidelines to consider. Incline. Increasing the incline on a treadmill can help you burn more calories because it increases the resistance of the treadmill and forces your muscles to work harder. A moderate incline, around 3-5%, is a good place to start. Speed. The speed at which you walk or run on a treadmill can also impact the number of calories you burn. In general, the faster you go, the more calories you'll burn. However, it's important to find a speed that is comfortable for you and that you can sustain for an extended period of time. Duration. The longer you are able to sustain your workout, the more calories you'll burn. Try to aim for at least 30 minutes of continuous exercise on the treadmill. Interval training. Interval training, which involves alternating between periods of high intensity and low intensity exercise, has been shown to be effective for fat burning. You can incorporate intervals into your treadmill workout by increasing the speed and or incline for short bursts and then returning to a more moderate pace. The 12, 3, 30 workout. Fat burning on a treadmill is easier than most people think. The setting with the greatest overall results is the 12, 3, 30 workout. Set the incline to 12 with a speed set to 3 for 30 minutes before or after each of your workout sessions. It's also important to remember to warm up before starting your treadmill workout and to cool down afterwards to help prevent injury. That's it. With these tips, you should be well on your way to getting a great workout on your treadmill. If you are new to the channel please like and subscribe for more fitness content. Thanks for watching, and happy exercising.